Here it comes. <laughs> the stupid void feeder. I want to talk about some stuff that happened last chapter, but we can leave that. What the? Oh, that is so corny and you know it. Oh, freak off. Oh, wait a minute. That's not even Mikado. Or not Mikado. That's not even Nikkei. That's just his hand. His hand came here first. That <laughs> they don't know what to think. No, that is Nikkei. That is stupid and you know it. Oh, my God. Emma. Huh? You think he'll be like that forever? You mean Nikkei? Yeah, duh. He came here without, or he came here with nothing, but his hand just... <laughs> I'm so sad. He came here with nothing but his hand and just sat there for hours without a word. Hmm. Maybe something gave him a big shock during his death? That's strange, though. My entire body was... Mm, uh, save us on the details. But I'm right here. <laughs> or, but I'm fine here. Did you have to say that out loud? Oh, he moved. Oh, he can't even talk. What do you mean, speak up? <laughs> no, use your head. He doesn't have a mouth. Ah. Uh... There's a joke here. And I don't know what it is. Oh, I just got it. Free speech. And he can't talk. Oh my. Wait, is that it? Uh, uh bubbly bubbly boo. Come to existence. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Anything's possible in the void theater. <laughs> don't question such petty things. A pulp of human flesh will never look you in my eyes, no matter how hard you try, Emma. He about to curse up a storm, watch it! What the frick are you two? That's what you wanted to say so bad? <laughs> Nikkei, your handwriting's so messy when you write with your left hand. It's not funny. Oh, was it this left hand that got cut off? Oh, I guess I misunderstood. I misunderstood, okay. Um, ah, but, but it is. Well, Nikkei, I guess you're right about your uh, about you being silent because you had no mouth. Yes, it's me, Emma, and this doll is Hajime. And what the frick is this place? He's so confused. And you don't have mouth. Why am I knowing what to get talk? That's a good point. Emma doesn't have a mouth. What do you mean? Our mouths are, are uh, still intact. I'll show you. If you just look inside this doll. This. Whoa! Put that away. What the frick am I looking at? Don't show me that! It's just a, you look disgusting! Anyway, Nikkei, so you died too, huh? Something must be going on over there. Oh, something's happening, alright. It's all because of you all. What? This isn't what I wanted. Mikado, that jerk. Everything was fine until he came in. Uh, came in. You all ruined it by falling for a cheap trick. This wouldn't have happened if you just listened. Oh, not this again. You and your uh, authoritarianism, <laughs> or something like that. You didn't accomplish anything in the end. Do you really think that could have uh, chanted just um, by the two? Is that supposed to say changed? Do you think that would have changed just by listening to what? I don't know. Nikkei. I'm, I'm sorry. So you're going for an apology? It's too late for apologies. All of us are dead. We know that we made the wrong choice. We have, or we had our reasonings, but nothing can deny that we were tempted by Mikado's plan and made innocent people die. I think us uh, being trapped here, looking at like how we died, is a part of our punishment for that. Nikkei, you're free to blame. Uh, you're free to blame us, but your inferiority complex and your authority and pride that got you from fortune. Or that you got from Fortune. Those become meaningless when you die. Once you die, just know that. Hmm. No. It, it's all a lie. It can't be like this. It can't end like this. This should be happening. This is the truth. Like, are you listening? This is the truth. This is what the result is. My health, Emma's affluence, and your supremacy were nothing but pipe dreams. Oh, is that what they all wanted? Interesting. As, as 
accept reality. Well, I actually feel better after dying. Are you sure about that? Here, we don't need to struggle for survival. There's nothing that keeps us from doing what we want. I know we can't be here for eternity, but I would prefer us spending the time we do have in a delightful mood. Nikkei, I know it's not for me to say this after ultimately choosing a Mikado over you, but you might have thought of us as just infer um, inferiors, but I felt different. Honestly, I think being a void before Mikado came wasn't that bad. Sure, we got nothing but failure. But just knowing that there was other um, people like me was enough to give me hope. And um, I felt like I had real friends that I could talk to without having to hide anything. I think all of us might have been good friends if we weren't so desperate and fell for Mikado's sweet talk. That's why I'm apologizing. If I could go back in time, I would never have made that choice. Friends, without having to hide anything? Yeah, I'll be honest with you since it's all over. I never thought of you guys as friends? What? Oh, that's depressing. Okay, that's it. Scoops ain't my favorite character. Get him out of here. Ever since I created, uh, created Void in search for Utsuro, I was getting comfort from the, my leadership position. I already, or I always need to be above others. Void wasn't just about the search, just, just a tool to, I guess that's what say, satisfy my desires. I'm at the top and you're below me. That's literally, wow, any sort of, I guess if he had any sort of character development that all went out the window, that's really lame. I'm not gonna lie. He's that suck up? Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. This honestly ruins my opinion on uh, on Scoops. Well, so um, surprise for you. These are my true feelings. Seriously, friend, you had it right earlier. You're just my inferiors. Well, screw you too. Yeah, we knew that from the start. What? Uh, did you think we didn't know for real? Look back on how we used to treat, uh, how how you used to treat us back then. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, yeah, right. There was no way for us to leave that unnoticed. Wait, I don't think Iroha noticed, but what else is new? <laughs> I already told us, but I don't care what you think of us. I just wanted to say that we didn't hate you or any anything. It's not like we didn't respect you that we followed Mikado. That, that much I want you to know. Normally I... Uh, cringe just at the thought of saying this but I wanted to tell you or I wanted to tell you if you came here personally I didn't feel much but I do agree that I am um, it was sort of a safe haven when I was in Floyd I didn't have to be actress Emma Makarobi I could just be Emma Makarobi nothing else I was about to say, they're gonna pull something, aren't they? Cringe? Well, at least you got one thing right, crap heads. Idiots! What do you even want to say? Yeah, sure. Swear all you want, I'd be glad to listen. <laughs> We're just saying, that's how it was. We're all dead, and there's not much we can do other than sit here. And make really funny jokes. Nikkei, you should stop overthinking and let go. Iroha's phoning in. She needs help again. Is it Iroha again? Can we just leave it ringing? Let's ignore it. She'll be just whining all over. What if it's a <laughs> Dang it. What are we all uh, really? Just what are you? Oh, Nikkei, are you crying? I couldn't really tell. How could I? I don't even have eyeballs. <laughs> I can cry. Look, stop. No. <laughs> Keep those atrocities out of my sight! It's been a while since we've hung out like this. I feel like we're back. Um, I, I feel like it's back then, thanks to you. Whatever. That's just your uh, assumption. Yeah, think whatever you want. Hey, man, I'm not kidding. Emma would have literally driven me insane with her puns if you didn't come here. What the frick are you talking about? Don't come near here near me. You're making me sick. Surely she wouldn't have. Or surely she wouldn't keep uh, doing all that when you're here, right? I'm so glad you came. So we have 
um, finish putting things behind us? Then let's get back to business. With the three of us, the fun will be threefold. I came up with a load of new jokes while you uh, we were talking. What? Uh, Emma, now that Nikkei's here, should we look for other things to do? There is nothing else. What can you do, or what can you even do when you're dead anyways? Sh shut up, you! <laughs> well, Nikkei, we may be dead, but aren't we still capable of taking or talking with each other? Just um, something Hajime and I were playing before you came. Join us. I call it uh, season 783 of the fun show starring star actress Emma. What the frick did you just say? Uh, I can't hear you. No, no, no. Uh, uh, Nikkei. Uh, uh, let's just go there and engage in some melee conversation with just the two of us. I told you not to get close. You're so gross. We're starting. What do you call a monkey that sells potato chips? Stop! I can't take this any longer! That was such a waste of like 10 minutes. <laughs> Bro, Purgatory looks mad weird. Is she sick? Huh? Oh, <laughs> is this her punishment? Also, it's weird to see Mikado in normal clothes. Hmm. Uh, what's the matter, Iroha? Have you got a cold or something? No, just my nose being itchy. I want to get out of here as soon as possible. I wonder if someone brought up you or brought you up in a conversation somewhere. Mikado? I'm listening. <laughs> he looks so positive and happy. I freaking hate him. Um, how long? What the frick? Oh. <laughs> Why are you in my bed? Is that a problem? No, but. What is there to be afraid of, Iroha? Is it because of Nikkei's death? Or perhaps you're so overwhelmed by the <laughs> by the uh, private conversation we had. Yeah, and how you didn't do a single thing again. Please don't feel intimidated. I'm feeling exceptionally good today after all. You have my or you have successfully accomplished your mission in a time of crisis. She did. I would say you deserve quite a, an amount of praise. Oh, it was her? Oh no, okay, I'm pretty sure I did end up saying that she- Oh my gosh. In a strange turn of events, the reason that Nikkei got outed was because of Iroha. Because if Iroha didn't push Sora, Sora would have been there to save Yuki. If she didn't save Yuki, then Yuki would have died, and if Yuki died, Scoops' plan would have it, it would have worked. So I was right that she was lying. I freaking knew it. Well, thanks, Iroha. You ruined everything. Well, maybe not ruined, but you just made everything so much more confusing. You are truly a savior of Void. Really? It was all thanks to your fortune, of course. Objectively speaking, I have never seen a plan as idiotic as yours <laughs> was, yeah, because she just pushed her and nothing else. I knew that she had nothing to do. No, 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 I didn't. I think I originally said that she was involved with the stabbing of, of, uh, what's his face? Of Shinji. But then I thought, like, no, no, hold on. Her pushing Sora is way more lame brain than anything else that went down in that whole, uh, lab area or whatever it's called. Though I did order you to murder after the third class fight. I think that's what she was trying to do. Seeing all you could think of was pushing a random person <laughs> from the top of the tower. <laughs> that was the Aroha special, baby. Ah, oh, no, no need to make that face. I don't mean to blame you. As I emphasized, it was your thoughtless actions that saved us all. Sora became involved in Nikkei's plan as a result of you pushing her. And the, and the process itself, acted as a force of fortune that neutralized the fortune on Nikkei's side. So are you telling me that like all these losers have a little bit of luck to them? Did they get that little bit of luck from, uh, what's it called? From Utsuro all that, all that time ago? And they're trying to get more? Is that what's going on? In short, your act of shoving Sora was the very force that kept Nikkei's plan into, yeah, I, what I said earlier. Only fortune can counteract fortune. Okay. 
though I doubt you put um, put this into account when you carried out. Your, uh, duh, she just pushed her and said, I win. And then she went down and she said, wait, where is she? <laughs> Had you not interfered, Shinji would have died at the spot and I would have been in a checkmate with Yuki being the culprit. The mere thought of it gives me chills. Although everything played out well in the end, I must admit, Nikkei was a big threat. Oh, nice room. Uh, now then, I should get moving. And by moving, I mean teleporting, because I use magic. I wanted to share this overwhelming sense of happiness with my teammates. My apologies for intruding upon your private space. Is that why you killed him? Nikkei post a threat. So you added that insane rule. Insane rule? Just don't pretend like you don't know. No portraying void for rule 17. That was the most BS thing and you know it. What's the point of adding something like that now? Oh. Well, you are only half correct about that. I could have let uh, Nikkei live, but he had outlived his usefulness at that point. Now, may I ask what your problem is or with that rule is, Iroha? Oh God, are you perhaps thinking of going down the same path as him? She can't anymore because of that rule. And no, I don't see a reason for you to ask um, to question this rule unless you're harboring such ideas. Um, uh, right. I was just wondering if, if it was okay to um, do the thing. What? If it was okay to do that when um, Monaco's watching. Uh -huh. No worries, Iroha. We may have struggled in the past, but now things are playing out of um, in our favor. It won't be long until Master Utsuro comes. Just a few more steps to go and everything will be done. Yeah, because didn't he awaken in chapter five? Oh my God, he did. Oh no, he did. This is bad. What are we going to do? So Iroha, would you mind assisting me in this last step? Yes, but I don't know what to do. I do have a rough outline of the plan. Hmm, <clears throat> yes. Since we're in a good mood, why don't we start this right away? But Star White, what? Follow me. Away. Away? What, what are you, a superhero? Fine, I'm coming. <laughs> and back to this. So yeah, last chapter was so crazy. We, we're getting so much more information than I thought we would ever get in chapter 4. And I love it. And it makes me feel even better that I realized that she was Akane. But I don't get... Well, I mean, this doesn't really confirm that, but at the same time, I feel like it all but confirms that, you know? But I just don't get... How she's here, honestly! I don't get it! Akane... Tyra? Yes. If what I'm thinking is right, she might be someone very close to me. I swear to God if I'm wrong about this. Ray told me she's alive. Somehow she's alive! Utsuro, I'm looking at you! And that you wouldn't know that. She told me to tell you this if you recovered your memories. She said that once I tell you this, you would take care of the rest? Hold on, that name, where have I heard? I couldn't focus at all in the, um, on the class trial after um, hearing that from Ray. Here, input your reset code, Taria. Taria? No, I'm sorry, but I won't take this. Oh, God. What, did, did he realize that Ari or Akane is in the wrong, so he said, I'm not helping you? Come on, please! What did you do? Why? Well, to be precise, I can't take it. It's not that I don't believe you. I've never been this happy to learn that Ray's still alive. But even after losing my mem uh, my memories, I know very well that I'm a, I'm a member of the Kizaragi Foundation, and yet I threatened and imprisoned you. 
when I should have been working hard to save you. Niki obstructing uh, everything with his plans, Shinji getting caught up in it and dying. It's all my fault. And you think I could just stand up to Mikado just from recovering my memories um, after all that? I don't have the right to. So? So you're just going to give up and turn your eyes away? Toria, didn't I tell you this before? Don't try to take all the responsibility by yourself. I'm responsible for this. I'm responsible for that. Why are you so fixated on that? You're responsible and what did you do or what you did doesn't matter now. We need your help right now. This is the time you should stand up for us. Even when he's the oldest one in the room and he's in, a, in another game, he's still being taught to and having to have his mind checked every time. Well, but by your logic, I don't have any right to say anything to anyone right now. You may have just let Nikkei do his thing, but I actually stabbed Sinji. I was the one who let Sinji die. I'm a murderer. I know very well what I've done, and I'm planning to atone for what I did. Oh, God, we're going to re regret that later. But first, I want to show Mikado who he's messing with, killing innocents and trapping us here. That's, that's the least I can do for the people who have left. Sora. Oh, is it time to go to bed? I guess it's time for me to leave. An, an announcement? Comrades, gather immediately at the harbor. Oh, the chapter just, it just started. Huh? What's the deal with him? I'm meeting this late. And when the trial just ended? Yeah, come on, give us some breath. Give us some breathing room. Sora, let's get moving first. I bought the reset codes. Give me time to collect my thoughts. I can't decide right now. Let's go to the harbor. I watched him be like, oh, hello, guys. You know what? Let's make this more interesting. Let's add a transfer student or something stupid. The snow stopped. Welcome, everyone. The shorter the number, the shorter it takes. Shut the freak up. Wait, I thought Maca or Monocro was the one gather or who gathered us. Why are... Yeah, what's the deal? Let's not dwell on such petty things. Nah. Hey, are you freaking kidding me? It's almost midnight. I mean, what does it matter with you? You're going to stay up all night and then sleep during the day. Why would you need us now? Do you have an I or any idea how busy I am? I'd say that the midnight school rule is now useless at this point. Wouldn't you agree? And I don't think you would be so stuck up on rules so by. Oh, no, no, that's it with throw space. Yuki, come back to me. So what is it now? So hasty. Patience, my dear friends. We have time to spare, you know. Monaco will explain everything soon. What? Were you expecting someone as comedic as me, a mere student, doing the explan er, explaining? But you're the mastermind. And you added that rule. So that was Mikado's doing? Yes, yeah, so obviously that was him. What the? He's no longer bound by this or his place as a student. He's now showing his true colors as the mastermind. Now, now, calm down. Yoriko, whatever Mikado did, I was just following the, um, the rule. Understood. The reason I have gathered you all here is because we have an urgent matter we need to solve. The fact that you killed Scoops for the stupidest reason on the planet? Everyone, turn around and take a look. At the ship? At Yuki? It's just a monocruise. Is the boat gonna sink? I, I'm not following. Wouldn't you say that a ship of this state wouldn't be able to sail properly? Serves you right for sailing recklessly. Who's even controlling it? It's not you! Why are you blaming me for that? I told you. The Mono crew is crashing here with something um, unexpected even for me. At this point, like, does it matter? The inside is fine and it hasn't moved at all, so can you just go? <laughs> Ahem. As Mikado just said, the Mono crew is unable to sail anymore. So, now what? You would know by now that we must head to the next island now that the uh, trial has ended. Are you just going to teleport us there? Like, how are we going to get there without a boat? You're not suggesting we swim over there, are you? 
No, most certainly not. The preparation is already done. Prepar what do you mean pre preparation? Everyone, I hope you've got everything you'll need on you. You didn't warn us, no. We're going to leave immediately, so get yourselves ready. We're leaving right now, but I need to fix my hair and grab some of my snacks and my paints and my manga. But first, please stay away from the Mono Cruise. Are you gonna blow it up? Oh, no. Yes, <laughs> you're gonna blow it up. What the, what the freaking? Huh? Oh, he's going to blow it up. Well, Iroha, if you had any manga on the ship, it's gone. My manga! <laughs> Just what are you up to, you freak? Oh, this feeling. This feeling of stored mana being drained from you as it courses through your body. This is why I use magic to oh, shut the frick up. Um, could we not have just abandoned it? Was that necessary? I hope we didn't have any money on the ship. Wait, isn't this damaging school property? That's a good point. You're just asking to be killed, aren't you, Mikado? Well, um, <clears throat> actually, no. This isn't... The rules are getting so wish-washy now. I don't get it. You can just add a rule, add a whim, and suddenly punish Nikkei, but as soon as he does this, he gets off scot-free? How come? He pulled the whole ship away, let alone its insides. Technically speaking, since the Mono Cruise has stopped working, that makes no sense. That That's not a good answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now. Oh. Oh, screw you, game, for like. I, should I be saying screw you, game, or screw you, mon, um, Mono Bird? I don't. I'm just going on. Ah, it wasn't like it was the Going Mary or anything. Never heard of it. This island of mine was dirty by Nikkei. Let us leave this accursed place as soon as there's no there's no um, bridge. So what does it matter? Come with me, my friends. Uh, we're either gonna teleport there or fly over there. I'm so confused. Or run? <laughs> what the frick is happening? We just went through a trial and he's already applying something that rich. The fact that he's um, excited about this makes me feel even worse. Pain in the butt. I'm so confused. So, what are we doing now? Oh, the bridge is here? Who the frick is that? What? Oh, was that Mikado? Is that Mikado? There's a, there's a bridge now? Yoroshi. I was able to somehow restore it. The bridge will... Sure. You can't even see on the other side from here. Just how far away is that place? Well, it is a pretty far distance, considering we would have... Or we would have normally used the Monocruise to travel there. But you shan't need to worry. I will provide you with the transportation methods you need. Heelys! <laughs> I wish. Nah, it's, gonna, it's probably gonna be something stupid like roller skates, so close to Heelys. Transportation method? Can you be Heelys? Please, please, please. Look around. Oh, are we going back to that car I saw? <laughs> can, any of, can any of us, like, drive? Oh, you don't say. Yes, the broken down cars and motorbikes lying around here. <laughs> Along with the bridge, I have also succeeded in fixing them as well. Can any of us drive? But I don't have my license! Now that the rules have are rendered useless, it doesn't really matter if you stay outside or not. Oh, I... Does that mean fi violence is a thing now? Can we be beat you up? However, wandering around at night is dangerous, and I recommend that you get um, you get moving immediately. Especially since you're all tired from the class trial. Are you kidding me? There's literally no one here who's old enough to drive. Thank you! Like, no one knows how to drive here. Do you want us to drive off the bridge? We're all just high school students. Oh, he isn't. Okay, get on the bus. Captain Sobai's about to take us to the other island. <laughs> oh wait, no, he knows how to ride a bike. That's even worse. And he's gonna leave us. Well, that didn't stop Sobai from taking a Ghost Rider style uh, with a motorbike just now. Well, you know he's like that. You have Turiya, don't you? He's an adult. Okay, fine. Captain Turiya, time to get on the bus. 
Beep, beep. Uh, I mean, I do know how to drive. I won't force anyone to drive on their own. You can just let someone who knows how to drive take the wheel and bring everyone here. Shinji may have known. If you don't like either option, we'll get ready to walk on foot. Or we can just stay behind all alone. Is this why you blew up, um, blew up the monocruise? So you can tor uh, torture us so that we'd... Oh, so we couldn't hide. Who knows? We do need to move one way or another. Well done, everyone. Just, yeah, go ahead and disappear like you're, like you're going to. That is not fair. It's too late for this. Dude just teleported why I... <laughs> Bro just teleported while we have to ride a car to take the long way. Well, you heard him right. It won't take long if you go by car. I suggest you hurry and get it over with, since you're all tired from the trial. Goodbye. Monocro, before you leave, you little piece of... Are you being friended by Mikado or something? What? I beg your pardon. Sora? I've always thought of you as a goofy character, as some dumb mascot that worked with Void. But your recent, your recent actions haven't been very natural. If you, Monocro, by any chance, are doing this against your will, blink once. <laughs> now, if none of this is your true intention, that's not how it is. You need not worry about me. I'm a being that um, exists only to host this killing school trip and nothing more. I'd say we, we'd have enough talk. Since you will need a uh, basic exp explanation on the fifth island, I will be waiting for you on the other side. Goodbye. All right, Turiya, beep beep. Why did wh why did you ask a question like that? It's it's nothing. It doesn't matter. It must have been from what Makaru told her, maybe. <laughs> Yuki's rendered useless and Iroha's messing things up. What are we going to do? So... I guess we're the only ones left, huh? But I don't want to drive a gosh dang bus. Oh. Well, we have to move smooth. We have to move sooner or later. Yeah, beep beep. Come on, bro. Move it. <laughs> this is weird as freak. Come on in, everyone. Although I'm not that good at... As long as you don't drive off the boat, or... As long as you don't drive off the bridge, then we're fine. Wait, aren't you coming with us? Huh? Yorko? Um, as much as I don't want to, want to get help from someone who imprisoned me... Oh. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Hora. You better drive safe, okay? Wait, I want to sit in the back too. This is so freaking weird. <laughs> Step on it, Joker. I want to be on the next island just just so I don't have to think about it anymore. Sora, come in. Come on. I've, I saved the passenger seat just for you. Okay. Why, why was he hesitant? Just go! What, do you think that Mikhail's gonna blow up the other the other island too? That is the crickiest car I've ever heard. Welcome to Something City. What'd that say? Well, we're here. So this is the fifth island and probably the last one? So you all came. I don't know what they're gonna do for uh, chapter six. Something City, I can't read, I can't read what that says. I've been waiting. I must say, you're earlier than I expected. That's cause Taria's reckless driving. <laughs> what do you mean reckless driving? It wasn't that bad. Well, it was. I'm still a bit dizzy. Uh, I, t I warned you. <laughs> Where did Mikado and Sobai go? I mean, they obviously got there before you. They arrived a bit earlier, heard the explanation, and went to their shelter. I guess where they're gonna sleep. What even is this island? Some kind of big city? I'll try to keep my explanation brief, thank you. 
But first, welcome to Higa City. Help, who had the name of Higa? Oh, uh, wasn't it the ultimate soccer player? Higa City? An island with the state-of-the-art industry and uh, tourist attractions constructed on top of an artificial island in honor of a special someone. Or so was the planned setting. Huh? Well, it is just a virtual reality, after all. Nikkei had already told you all that, no? But aren't you supposed to not say that out loud or something? Does it really matter? Anyways, if I continue with my explanation, now that our shelter, the Monarchus, is no longer with us, we will be staying here for a while. Being the last island, it is the last island. In a big city, there is no need for you to worry about not having any necessities. So this is truly the last island. Wait, I've got a question. Every time there has been an, uh, a murder, we've always had a trial on the trial ground beneath the Monocruz. Now that the Monocruz is gone and this is the last um, trial or last island, does that imply that there are... No, he made one somewhere in the middle of this place. That isn't exactly the last, but I do find that question hard to answer. How? Yoruko, why would you ask... I mean, we know what's gonna happen, come on. Now that Mikado is bending their school rules willy-nilly, we have nothing less to, uh, left to trust. I thought Monocro would at least tell us something about the middleman, or tell us something being the middleman. But alas, I suppose he's just one of them. Yoriko. Anyway, let me continue with the explanation. The city is divided into four big areas. For now, we will just call them the East, West, South, and North areas, uh, respectively. Each area has a big wall that separates them, and there is a circular road that encompasses the whole island. The whole way to move, or the only made, the only way to move in between the areas, is through the gates. <sighs> in other words, you can only move through them using the other uh, data roads. This place seems a bit too big for that. Are there any other forms of transportation, like Healy's? Well, there was going to be one, but... At least you can ask Toriyo to drive you around. <laughs> Back onto the bus! No thank you, another car ride like that will definitely kill me next time. Oh come on! There is one other thing to note. There are two symmetric twin buildings. I don't know why... That bugged me. <laughs> um, there are two symmetric twin buildings, each in the west and east area. I am not sure if you can see them, or if you can see it's from here in its darkness, or in its darkness. I is that it? Yes, that's it. Those buildings are off limits during nighttime. So after midnight. Now that the rules are obsolete, I won't bound it to a specific time, but I suggest you do not go there during the night. So if the rules are obsolete, that means Mikado can use his magic all willy-nilly. That's a problem. Oh, that's a, problem. that's a really big problem. That rule is going to be enforced on the same level as the school rules. So it's urgent that you remember this. And why is that? I'm sorry to inform you that I cannot tell you. Come on! Well, what else is new? Everyone's keeping secrets now. True. The entrance to the Twin Towers, yeah, that's why I was a little bugged by what he said, um, exists in both the West and East. And east er There's no way to go there, right? Um, and there is a bridge connecting the two towers near the top. I'm just, this game has, it's gone places where it didn't need to go, so I'm just a little scared by that. This should be the only other way to travel through each area, other than the outer road previously mentioned. Now, that should be the end of my explanation. We can all go rest. It is quite late, after all. Go, go rest? But where? There's no Monocos here. Here, each of you should take one of these. Oh, a hotel? So that was, um, um, Higa, the soccer player. What even are these? These key cards... The cars? These key cards, or I guess card keys, are usable in any hotels or shelters in Higa City. The many shelters of Higa City can be entered if you um, use these cards um, on the room's floor, or on the room's door. Once activated, the room will be recognized as yours. 
so you can enter it using your handbooks like your old dorms. Just like our old dorms? To put it simply, as long as you keep your card key on that room, you can open and close it as you like using your handbooks. Okay? That room will only be accessible using the handbooks of the owner whose key card activate, activated the room. Okay? Alright. You won't be able to sleep sound at night if your safety isn't secured, right? And while the the city is so large that you might have um you might have trouble finding rooms that the others have chosen, but do not worry. As I have provided the room of history data in your handbooks. Okay. Yeah, let's just get out of here. There are a lot of facilities provided for you or your um, accommodation here on the island. There isn't anyone else anyway. So use them at your leisure. As mentioned before, the rules are obsolete, so feel free to stay together or sleep by yourselves. So we're free to go anywhere and stay anywhere we want? Excluding the Twin Towers during the night, that is. Oh, and the North Area is relatively underdeveloped, so I wouldn't recommend going there. So, can we leave already? Well, uh, yes. Um, wait, hold on. Yes, Monocro. No, never mind that. It's nothing. It's probably useless to even mention it. My role here will be over soon anyways. What does that even... Farewell. What? Monocro, bird, come back here! Don't you think... He was acting a bit weird. He's acting like he's gonna die soon. Wait, can he even die? Are there not just more of him in storage? We know how this goes. There's usually a bunch. <laughs> uh, Yuki, speak to me. Uh, um, Yoriko. Could we talk for a little? Yoriko. 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 Um, well, I feel sleepy, so I guess I'll be going too. Good night. What a great bunch of friends this is. Sora, you alright? What? I don't know if I should be the one to say this, but the atmosphere feels a bit off. Honestly, I thought I was gonna die from awkwardness. <laughs> You were going to die from awkwardness? We were going to die flying off the bridge. Five people in a crammed car and not a single word? Like, jeez. And you were especially friendly with Yorko. Did something happen? It's it's nothing. It, it, was all, it was all my fault, after all. Yeah. It's all because I... No. Sora, maybe you should uh, just sleep for tonight. It's been a rough day, after all. Not just for you and me, but for the others. So, what are you going to do for tonight? I guess look for a place to stay. I mean, I can see dozens of hotels even from here. Well, that's kind of cool. They, they don't have to be in the same building. About the reset codes, um, can I talk to you or can I talk to you about them tomorrow morning? Give me one night to think about them, and after I think everything through tomorrow morning, we can talk about everything there is to talk about. All right. Anyway, it's time for bed. Uh, sleep, sleep well, Sora. And I'll contact you using the handbooks tomorrow morning. Good night, Taria. What a rough freaking night.